بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد We should make shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has given us an opportunity once and again to witness this Mubarak, this blessed month of Ramadan. Ulama explain to benefit from deen we need to have the azmat of deen, the greatness of deen, the grandeur of deen. وَمَن يُعَذِّمْ شَعَائِرَ اللَّهِ Whatever the shi'ar, the signs of Allah are, for example, Qur'an, to have respect for the Qur'an, not to put it on the floor, not to make our feet face Qibla, etc. بَأَدَبْ بَأَنَسِبْ بَأَدَبْ بَأَنَسِبْ Whoever has adab and etiquette, they will be fortunate. And whoever is deprived of adab and etiquette, they will be deprived. They will be wretched. You see, in the olden days when they was no publications of the Qur'an, those days every Qur'an was handwritten, there was a couple who made an intention that they will save all their money to purchase a Qur'an. After a long time they managed to save that amount of money and they purchased the Qur'an. When they got the Qur'an they were overwhelmed. And since they were from a poor household, there was no place. In the olden days, in houses, they had niches, uh, holes in the walls. Uh, but they found it bare adab, no respect, just to put the Qur'an like that. So they couldn't find an appropriate place to put the Qur'an. So they decided, we'll hold it and we'll take chances. So the husband would do his work. Then when he was free, he would take it from the wife and she would do her work. And likewise, they rotated. The evening came, they decided we'll do the same thing, you'll sleep, I'll hold it and likewise vice versa, we'll take chances. It is said that by the morning when they woke up, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had made both of them huffaz of the Qur'an Ipaq. So respect, this Mubarak month of Ramadan, the azmat and the greatness, what a great, what a Mubarak month, the month of opportunity. He said there was a fire worshipper who had a store, a restaurant in a Muslim market. He told his son, it is Ramadan, out of respect for the Muslims, we have to close in the daytime. It is said before he passed away, Allah gave him tawfiq of Iman and he died on Iman. So we don't know which Amal, but those Amal, whatever, wherever, whenever, opportunity, this is a great, great, magnanimous opportunity for the believers. So we need to have the azmat of this month. And one of the signs of this azmat is that we're making shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the sign of shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that we are grateful to Allah that He has given us the opportunity of this month, but by action we back up our shukr. By action, we back up our azmat and greatness and grandeur of this month. So one is we saying it on our tongue, one is we feeling it in our heart. But physically, are we displaying those qualities which justify and display the reality that, Ya Allah, you have given us an opportunity and we're using it how it should be. Somebody gives you a hadiya a gift, a toothbrush, and you say, MashaAllah, oh, and he says it's a very rare toothbrush, it's made of this fiber and this bristles, and I took so much time and effort and energy to source it, etc, etc. So it's a very rare toothbrush. So we thank him very much, and then we ask for shoe polish, and we polish our shoe. So you use the bounty, you use the namad, but you never use it how it should have been used. You displayed sugar, you're using it, but how it should have been. So I'm reading Salat, I'm fasting, I'm making Tilawat of Qur'an, I'm making Dhikr. For example, we make Dhikr. Some people have this be, so we, we, we burn in the numbers, swan, 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 swan. So as much as we, I'm reading Qur'an, I'm reading, we're reading Qur'an, we're pushing the numbers, we're doing the volume. We got quantity, we don't, we have 
quantitative expense. We don't have qualitative enhancement. ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملة. We doing a lot, but there's no value to it. They say dynamite comes in small packages. So do a little bit. The best of our mal is adwamuha wa in qalla. Even if you do a little bit, but do it properly. Do it properly. Even in our samosas, we make sure the triangles is 45. We got the five, 45 degree angles. Our cakes, 360 degrees. We don't even need a compass, but we get it right. So in our dunya, we're making sure we're getting things right. How come in our deen? Tell today, I don't know how to read Quran properly. I'm still saying, Alhamdulillah. I don't even know how to read uh, the kalima properly. I say, La ilaha. There's no La ilaha. La ilaha. Alhamdulillah. So we're doing deen. We think so we're doing deen. But it's actually not deen. Like the toothbrush. That's not a sign of a gratitude. And likewise, all the bounties that Allah subhanahu wa has given us, these are na'mas that should be used for Allah, for the deen of Allah. Now human nature is we look at other people, we see what other people have. Well, as Nabi salam said, Unzuru ila man huwa asfala minkum wa la tanzuru ila man huwa fawqakum. When you look at things of dunya, look at the people below you what they have. And when you look with regards to deen, look at what the people above you have done. So let me explain, when it comes to dunya, look at what Allah has given you and look at other people what they don't have. If you got a small house, look at the people that live in a squatter camp, uh, look in uh, informal settlements. If, if you don't want to look there, look at people in other countries, in Syria, etc. We don't even have a zinc house. They live in tents. Look at other people that are homeless. They don't have anything. Sheikh Saadi Rahimullah was walking once. Uh, he didn't have shoes. So he was thinking, Ya Allah, I'm walking barefoot. I don't have shoes. Allah showed him a person who didn't have feet. He made sugar to Allah. Ya Allah, forget the shoes. Alhamdulillah, I still have feet. Alhamdulillah, I still have feet. So there's always an opportunity. And for Deen, we must look at the people above us like Sahaba. The sacrifice I am giving, compared to the sacrifice of Sahaba, how much should I be giving? So this man's nature is such that we are always ungrateful. They say man is such, when we don't have money, then he eats food at home. When he has money, then he wants to eat food out. He pays to eat. When he doesn't have money, he rides a bike. Like if you look at India, Pakistan, they go to work with their bikes. But when he has money, then he rides a bike. When he doesn't have money, then he walks to eat food. But when he has money, then he walks to burn that food, to burn the fat. When he doesn't have money, then he wants to get married. But when he has money, he wants to get divorced. Because that money is the cause and the foundation for that uh, marriage coming into turmoil. When a person has money, then uh, when a person doesn't have money, then he acts like he's very rich. But when he doesn't, when he has money, then he's acting like a pauper. So there's those that don't have money, they act like they're rich, that they got everything. Person will buy, uh, uh, buy a fake brand, buy a fake bag, buy, buy a big sun, uh, fake sunglasses to display to show you have money. But those people that don't, uh, people do, those that have money, they act like they're paupers. They never ever have money. So, so Allah in His ilm knows what condition, what hal what situation he has put us in. We should always be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no matter what the situation is. In one riwayat, inna min ibadi man la yuslihu illa al ghina There are some uh, servants of mine that I've uh, decided wealth is good for them. Walau afqadtuhu lafsadahu dhalika If they had gotten poverty, then they would have, it would have destroyed the deen. For some people I've decided poverty is good for them. If I had made them wealthy, then they would have become fasid. Some of my servants have decided that health is good for them. If I made him sick, he would have become spoiled. Some people I've decided 
sickness is good for them. Walau asahtuhu lafsadahu dhalika. If I had decided that they will be healthy, they would have become spoiled. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is, is alim, is hakim, is khabir. We have to be cognizant of these bounties. We have to acknowledge these bounties. We need to start using these bounties how Allah wants us to use it. Otherwise, we're going to be answerable. Yuja'u bil abd yawm al qiyamah ka'innahu badaj. Insan will be brought in front of Allah on the day of Qiyamah like he will be like a baby sheep. You know, when a baby sheep is born and it's a shaking and it's just new. فَيُوْخَفُ بَيْنَ يَدَيْ اللَّهِ And he will be standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah will ask him, أَتَيْتُكَ وَخَوَّلْتُكَ I gave you all the bounties. وَأَنَمْتُ عَلَيْكَ I showered my blessings on you. أَلَمْ عَجْلَ لَكَ سَمْعًا I gave you yarin wa basaran. I gave you vision wa malan wa waladan. I gave you wealth. I gave you children. Wa sakhartu laka al anam wa al harf. I gave you vegetation. I gave you agriculture. I gave you land. I gave you property. I gave you all these bounties. Afa kunta tazunu anka mulaqin. Did you ever think and fathom that you will see this day? فَمَاذَا سَنَعْتَ He'll say, Ya Allah, I, I never had yaqeen on this day. So Allah will ask him, فَمَاذَا سَنَعْتَ What have you done to justify the gratitude of all these bounties? So you'll reply, Ya Rabbi jama'atuhu wa thammabtuhu fa taraktuhu awfara mimma kan. Ya Allah, I gathered wealth, I made money, I, I made effort my day in, day, night, morning and evening, all day, all night, passed just to amass this wealth. Fa taraktuhu awfara mimma kan. And I made it more, I made a grand portfolio. Fa raja'ni aatika bi. I'll, I'll, I'll go back to dunya, ya Allah, give me an opportunity. And I'll bring all this wealth that I amassed. I'll show you what I acquired. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will tell him. Al-yawma ansaka kama nasitani. Today I will forget you like how you forgot me in dunya. Fa'idha abdun lam yuqaddam khayran. And there will be a servant of Allah who will have no action in his book of deeds. He will be thrown into Jahannam. So we need to think that these bounties that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us, how are we using these bounties? The Ashab as Sufa, who were the Sahaba that had limited quantities of wealth. They were such that it was they only had sufficient clothing to cover their sitter for salah. Days would pass where they never had food. And Nabi alayhi salam asked them, Ya ahl sufa kayfa antum? How are you, O oh my Sahaba? Qalu nahnu bi khair. O Nabi of Allah, in a good condition, we okay, alhamdulillah. So he asked them, أَنْتُمْ الْيَوْمْ خَيْرْ أَمْ يَوْمَ تَغْدُوا عَلَىٰ أَحَدِكُمْ جَفْنَةً وَتَرُوهُمْ أُخْرَىٰ Oh my sahaba, are you people today in a good condition? A time will come where you will have one pot after another pot after another pot after another pot coming. وَيَغْدُوا فِي حُلَّةٍ وَيَرُوهُ فِي أُخْرَىٰ You will have one cloth and another cloth and wardrobes of clothing. Filled with clothing, you don't even know which clothes to wear when your wardrobes are filled. وَتَسْتَتِرُونَ بُيُوتَكُمْ مِثْلَ أَسْتَارِ الْكَعْبَةِ And you will cover your houses like how you cover the Kaaba. Your walls will be cladded with curtains. So Ashabi Sufa, thinking that those will be better days, they said, Ya Nabi Allah, نَحْنُ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ خَيْرٍ We think that that day will be better. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted us bounties فَنَشْكُرُ 
so we can be grateful for all these bounties qala bal antum al yawm khair actually today you are better off yadribu ba'dukum riqab ba'din on that day you will kill each other for this dunya you will kill each other for this dunya he mounted on the member and said lal faqra khsha alaykum o my sahaba if you die out of poverty out of hungerness out of starvation i am not worried about it walakin akhsha alaykum an tabsuta alaykum ad dunya kama busitat ala man kana qablakum i am afraid dunya will open its arms to you like it opens its arms to the people of the past fatuhlikakum kama ahlakathum they'll destroy you like how it destroyed the people of the past so these ni'mats these bounties this month of ramadan is an opportunity to display to allah how grateful we are and that is by liyabluwakum ayyukum ahsanu amala showing allah how good we are at doing amal may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq of fulfilling the awamir of allah how it should be fulfilled wa akhiru da'wana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alamin